Hello everyone, Clips here, and welcome to tonight's game, Before Your Eyes. So I don't know much about this game, besides the fact that it's apparently super sad and emotional, so yeah, hopefully I don't end up <laughs> bawling my eyes out like that happened that one time, but let's get into it, shall we? Hi, yo, what is up? How is it hanging? Alright, so where are we? This is a game about blinking. See, every time you blink, the game will notice. Oh, that's another thing I know. So yeah, this game, you play it using your webcam. When you blink is how like you interact with the game. See how this works. I'm pretty good at staring contests, by the way, so I'll be like a god at this. Hello? Yo, what is up? How's it hanging? When you see a metronome and blink, you'll jump forward. Keep blinking. Guess it's getting darker. Time is moving on. Where are we? There's a boat. I'm, I'm sinking. Get away, you lucky fowls. That's mine. Oh, who the heck is this guy? Well, hello there, stranger. Oh, hello there. Oh, it's a furry. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with or hands to shake with. Nose to look down with. I guess he's right. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. If that makes any sense. No, it doesn't. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. You remember blinking, <laughs> don't you? Blinking? What the hell is a blink? You did 30,000 times a day. Ooh, well look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I'm cracked yeah, at blinking, actually. You see all them poor souls down there? Lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. Huh? See, he chose I, me. I just sometimes get a sort of a... a hunch. You're watching the last Harry Potter? Well, I hope you enjoy it. Ocean. Mm, better word than that. Ah, wasn't really one of my favorites, but I feel like the earlier uh, ones were a lot better than the later uh, ones, just in general. Worth pulling up. Now you see that tower out there? Big scary one. No. Oh, That's yes. That's taking you to see the gatekeeper, to be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Judge. Tell her the whole story of your entire life, from prow to stern. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the Bitcoin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent. Gonna sell me to a crazy if she god can. lady? Well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and oh, that doesn't look you. tasty. Well. <laughs> We don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class yeah, I can tell. I can tell, bro. You have a webcam, does that mean face reveal? <laughs> Good up, joke. No. You had your chances. Shut up, trash birds. No good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. Wait, so are the birds like other people? Bro, chill, chillax, dude. What are you doing? Oh. Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that happened. I really want to rewatch the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings movies. Then why don't you? 
Well, actually, don't rewatch The Hobbit. So the sure. Hobbit's trash. <laughs> I mean, the books are good. The book is good, but... Out there, but I know how to spin a yarn. If I'm the Lord of the Rings is definitely like a goat trilogy. That's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very. So, beginning. how is this emotional? I don't know. I haven't played out. it. That's what I'm saying. We kind of have to see. I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be what happens in our but life. I understand. No matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay. All right. Every time you blink. You're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. I mean, it's kind of already then. just a bittersweet premise be having to remember your life. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Especially with like the blinking mechanic, where it's like you're trying to hold Don't on to memories, to basically. We just kind of have to see what happens. The thing to remember about blinking is. Well, it's only a matter of time. No, I can't. I don't need to blink. I don't need to blink. I need to blink. The Just Hobbit wasn't bad. This time. I mean, it wasn't like garbage, yeah, but it wasn't like good. I'm going to be real. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, but yeah, I would say kind of objectively, it's Look not great. Sun. But then again, I really enjoyed the book, and it's really not like the book. The book is like 200 pages. You can't fit a six, like three that? movies in there. You must really like it out here, huh? Who's that I like lady? That. I like it too. Oh my god, look at that cool rock. Who is this? Is this like our? Let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? This is probably like our mom or something. You see that big spiky plant over there? No. Oh. That's yes. Agave. Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree, covered in flowers. Okay, that that sounds what like foreshadowing. Away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. I love the colors in this game already. Where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Oh. Did I put it in there? No. Oh, the bird has it. Get that back! Fucking rat. Tragic. Okay. Go ahead, kid. Oh, and this is probably dad. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. You know, it'll really be something to see how he grows. My man needs to get a haircut. Man, the zoom on this thing is fantastic. Benny, one year old. Oh, my name's Benny Trad. That's actually tragic. That's sad already. Okay, I can't hold it anymore. I got some block. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Block. Got a toy piano. Oh, you want to play along with mommy? Oh, and we got a real you. piano. Yeah, I'm sure. Can I play the piano? I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. I can already tell I'm gonna struggle later on. My eyes are like already getting tired. Sounds good, honey! I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, Mr. Boat. Pretty perfect to me. Yeah, oh no, I don't wanna see that! I like the music. Mr. Boat. That's very specific. 
So our mom is obviously a musician. She wants us to be like a musician too, probably. How many of these bu bubbles can I pop? Now, that, guys, that is the dad from Caillou. Oh my God, you're right. That, that's like that's the same hairstyle, actually. Okay, I can't hold it anymore. Oh, what is that? What do you think he's thinking about? Oh, clouds. Probably solving the problems of the universe. Yeah, no, I'm not thinking about that, actually. Pretty clouds. So, Pretty clouds. Do you think he's going to be smart? <laughs> Good one, no. I see why not. I mean, Hell no, I'm going to be dumb as fuck. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean he's going to be. Necessarily. You're right. No. You're right. <sighs> you know. Really oh, this is really hard, actually. It's like I want to like hold on as long as possible to see what they have to say, but it's like I can't. <laughs> I can't just wait until no, the end. I need to blink. At least I didn't think it was. I need to take like my break. Tell the other members of the selection committee what I just. When it's like you. sections like these, where I right. don't need to. If I blink, no, it, nothing sorry. happens. Hi, yo, what's up? How's it hanging? Of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Oh, I drew a boat. My piece, John. Yay! It really means a lot. Oh, that's not quite what it looked like in my head. Oh. That's sure a little mess of color. Okay, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Throw? Why do I want to throw it? You know, if you keep working at it, one day you'll be able to paint exactly what's in your head. You'll be a real artist. Unlike your poor mom. Don't say that, mom. I'm sure you're a wonderful musician. Scrapbook. Kids moving clouds is my... <laughs> Yeah, I think that might just be in his head. Could be wrong. I think it's just his imagination. You're doing good? Well, I am doing good as well. Hope everyone else is too. Baby Grand Piano, ages two plus, includes easy to play music book. Or L. Van Beethoven. See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. So her dad was a musician. She wants to be a musician. God. She wants us to be a musician. He practiced so much. I hated it at first. Look at him smoking in front of his kid. What a terrible parent. See, this is like a cheat. I can like rest my eyes when I ha see these. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything though. He was what you might call the strong silent type. Beechraft High School Choir and Concert. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? I wonder how big this scrapbook is. And I came all the way out here to the beach. Test my blinking endurance. I don't even know how I got here. Your dad got his job and I just came with him. I like the human suitcase. I like the dad's hair, by the way. Okay, I guess that's it. Thank God. Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? Oh my God, is it a dog? I just don't want him to get attached. Richard. Oh what? no, it's a cat. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. What's wrong with that? We can't keep him, can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. But look at the little kitty. Find someone to take him. But while he's here, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> what, like the little Muppet? Ernie. That's him, doesn't it? Oh, he's so or no, that's Sesame Street. So sweet. I think someone likes his new cat. Missing an Richard, eye though, what? poor little guy. This cat. <laughs> yeah, I just mean for now. Of course, we're not gonna keep him. Right. I believe that. We're totally going to keep this going. cat. For now, honey. I'm not really a cat person. I'm more a dog guy, but it's better than nothing. Oh, I guess mom is allergic. 
Now play the C major chord I taught you. I don't know what that is, lady. Remember? I sing. I don't play fucking piano. There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? I, I don't... You remember how to play that? <laughs> no, one? I don't. Very good. Just one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. I like how the focus changes based on what you're looking at too, even though obviously that's like a normal graphics thing. Sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. Keep the cat away from your birds? He's just a little guy. He wouldn't do anything like that. That is a really nice song, actually. A nice melody on the piano. Richard Brin. I'm cheaper than hiring movers. Trust me. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone oh, like her. Oh, it's dad her. story time now. Pray to God I can somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain... Wait, he's a professor? What a nerd! In her eyes. Which I very quickly lost. <gasps> God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. All right, gotta hold on, gotta hold on. Where would you want to go if you could only go to one? Egypt or Greece? Greece! Even though well, I'm like two years old or some shit. <laughs> Man, I gave you some unfortunate genes. We should put on sunscreen no matter where you go, to be honest. Some good ones. Well, yeah, let's hope they balance each other out. Alright. Oh, more piano. God, I have a lot of toys, don't I? Oh. Oh, I'm gonna play on the big boy piano. I wonder how old I am right now. The passing day for chamber orchestra, L. Fishman. Wait, is that... that's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? I'm just randomly Richard? doing Are shit, I don't know. I guess I'm a few fucking musical what? prodigy. He's playing my piece. He must have figured it out by ear. I mean, I was a gifted kid, but he's brilliant. True. We need to get him into serious piano lessons. Sure. But you know anyone who might be a good teacher for him? Oh, I wonder. I mean, in the city, sure. Not out here, I don't. I mean, I know someone who might be up to the task. Very gifted. Richard, no one in this town knows anything. It's you, stupid! He's talking about you! Good idea. <laughs> but who's this mysterious woman you're talking about? Who is this mysterious woman? I, I wonder. Her. Oh my god. You know, I really was still alive. She revealed herself to be Damn. stupider than I thought. Richard, what are you talking about? Oh my, she still doesn't get it. That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh, kitty. Oh, God, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Me or the cat? Oh, draw. Kitty! Don't worry, I already did. Oh, thank God. For a moment, I forgot what a great father you are. Just focus on the interview, honey. I got this. What's this kid's base age at this point? Yeah, man, I don't know. Like, I guess it's supposed to be revealed through context, obviously. So we have to be like, probably like a few years old at this point. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk. Like one or two, probably? I don't know. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. Oh, something's gonna happen. Oh, look at that. That's a dope drawing of a cat. Oh. Oh no! 
Bro, you're so dead. Yeah, what could happen to those files, by the way? Damn. My cat would look worse than that. Fuck me. When's he coming? But I guess I'm, I'm supposed to be a genius anyway. after all, so it's okay. You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. Like I'm an artiste. Yes, that's true. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. Oh, how, Please let how old is that? Cat, no. It's time to Five use years old, now. seven. Baby steps. He's got one eye. That I'm nine years old at this point. At least. That one says nine, if I can make it out. So yeah, nine or ten. Probably at least ten at this point. Yeah, that this would that's a good guess. Metronome. I think it's about that. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. Yeah, we're past baby time. We'll probably go to school soon. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of Welcome genius. Welcome home, Dad. Which might live on after you're gone. A work of genius. I can be your work of genius, Mom. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking... I might be a work of genius just Oh, great well. minds think alike, clearly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Said, yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. <laughs> no such luck for me. But I do wonder what he'll think about you. I haven't seen him in over ten years. Can Probably already went to school. Well, yeah. At, I wonder if he'll even at this point, that. obviously. I mean, like, will we see it? If we don't see it, it didn't happen, obviously. Oh, what what is this? This seems rather ominous. Okay, yeah. I I guess I have to just hold out because something's gonna happen. Come on, come on, something happened, don't... Something happened. Okay, I can't. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Yeah, whatever, lady, don't nag me. Piano pieces for children. Oh, okay, so I need to... Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a I don't know what that means. You're off. Bitch, fuck you. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that? I'm trying my best. What do you mean? Huh? I didn't. How'd I even miss him? I was in the light the whole time. Fuck you. I don't even want to play the Here piano. I want to be an artist. Okay, Fuck you. Firm grip on it. Just like that. Firm grip on what? Oh my. Well, I don't think you like oh, that. Oh, or I could be a photographer. Everybody. Turn around, L. So we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? Oh my you god. Lighten first, up. But if you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. My mom's kind of turning into a nag, like, gonna be honest. Ernie, Take a picture of the buddy. clouds. Ernie! Ernie! Ernie, we need you! God, El, what have you got to eat my oh, is my own? cat missing? My sinuses would be eternally indebted. What? For sale. Just say? No, oh, is I, someone I gonna I'm move really in? Worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! God, honey, I'm worried too. Ernie! Oh, they are. Uh, our cat is lost. Come to Papa! I know you're mad about last Not night. Not the cat! Ridiculous. What happened last night? You oh, stepped God. on his back, what? you monster! Well, if you survived that, I don't know how worried we have to be. Say, damn, you calling him fat? Seriously, okay? 
use one eye. That means predators can come up from one side and he doesn't even know. <laughs> okay? Take this seriously. He says, let's take this seriously, Party. and then drops a line like that. Come on, dude. Yeah, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Yeah, no, not the, the cat. Oh, okay, the cat's good. The cat's good. Disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge. Oh belly. no, the cat's pregnant. The cat got pregnant. A boy. And you're sure about that? But you didn't. How could you not have noticed at any point? Uh huh. How could you not have noticed that? that on <laughs> yeah. What? Say that one more time. <laughs> he holds this from the boat. If it's further away or something, then it's one or the other. And what was Ernie's? What is my man talking about? Well, what are we talking about then? <laughs> Peeled. How did he not know whether it was a girl or a boy? My man, I'm still I don't know. I'm not understanding how you let this happen. Oh, I don't know. I didn't think about it. It just, it just happened. Oh, well, now we have lots of cats. Find a stray cat in the alley. We keep it even though I hate cats. And now it just happens to pop up five more. Sorry. More the merrier. I realize you hated cats. For a professor of signs and symbols, you're really bad at reading them. Oh my god. Okay, that, that's funny. <laughs> that's really witty. I let us keep him for Benny. And I'm happy about that. But I really can't have five cats around the house. Well, you can just give them. You don't need to keep all of them. I'm sure plenty of people would like that's a kitten. It's actually nice how it's big and healthy our cat's gotten, actually. Green, and then the sky red. And what's wrong with that? No, are you kidding? I love it. Huh. Like all these photos. Yeah. Oh my god, the dinosaurs! Visit Australia. Oh, you're telling me, lady. Textbooks are the bane of my existence. Bro, I had a blanket like exactly like that when I was younger. Literally exactly like this. That's crazy. Can I have one of the small cats? Yeah, of course, buddy. We have five after all. Oh god, is something gonna happen? Oh, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like... We put the cats outside, right? That sounds like a dog. And he's kind of... Sounds like he's tearing something up. Uh... Don't make me see it. Don't make... I'm gonna hold out, but, like, don't make me actually see it. Oh, God, those sounds. Those are not good sounds. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't hold out any longer. I know. It seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. Why do we have like the same calendar up for 20 years straight? But by just the way. take it one day at a oh, time. I was supposed to be playing the piano, Trust I guess. Me. Right, next page. Oh, just I was saying it's the same calendar. Now we're to, now it's Halloween. Really getting there, honey. Next week we'll start working on your other hand. Bro, I'm like actually a fucking genius, dude. I'm a photographer, I'm an artist, I'm a musician. What can't I do? Listen to him, Richard. Holy, I'm fucking cracked! I'm listening to him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. To be fair, it's probably right. Also true, just a win. Oh, and it's Christmas. I didn't even realize. I was so focused on the piano playing. I think the thing that's fucking me up is like if I 
two brackets, mouse over the black keys that counts as a mistake two screws on each bracket. oh he has the ikea table i guess two washers on each screw. Oh, let's take a photo of the fridge so that means we need eight washers we have chris said find the zero oh. and he just drew an arrow pointing to it <laughs> well, what's wrong with that I mean, everything is oh, wrong. I guess we really suck at math. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I said, I asked, what can't we do? Math, apparently. It might be the end of your dream of getting a cat. Yeah, I am don't think anything good happened to him, especially since we haven't seen them. But no, my toys, my dinosaurs. Congratulations, B. First of many, I'd assume. Oh, those are piano trophies. I am cracked. Damn, look at that old ass computer. Oh my God, it's groovy broccoli, groovy broccoli. Oh, oh yeah, that's from fucking The Walking Dead game, because this is made by Skybound. Yeah, okay. I was like, that looks so familiar. That's why, it's made by the same people. This isn't my house. Oh, who the fuck is this chick? So I was right about somebody moving in. The foreshadowing, it's crazy. Oh yeah, let's take a picture of her like a stalk like a stalker. Fall back, you fool. I'll have your head. I'll feed them to the cat. Maybe. Hey you! Oh. Yeah, you! Come over here! Hey you! Yeah, you! Yeah, me! Yes. Camera boy. Oh. Groovy Grockly? Yeah. Groovy Broccoli. I want it to rhyme. Because like, he has like an actual name. I just didn't remember what it was. You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Of what? I already did take a photo of that. Chloe! Oh shoot, I think I gotta go, but um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. Is this gonna be like our crash? You'll be able to, but you can try. Oh, easy what clap. How did you do that? Cause I'm fucking cracked. I'm fucking cracked. That's why. Quiet, everyone. Oh, am I gonna be playing for the party? Imagine I like turbo choke this, and it's just trash. Oh, never mind, I'm fucking cracked. Wow, L, he's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Who the fuck Did is this you guy? Be a composer yourself, L? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah. Yeah, but she did. I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years old. And and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. <laughs> I mean, what's his field? Uh, it's maritime archaeology. What? Actually, what is that? Very cool. Yeah, cool. But no one really knows what it means. I don't know what it means. I'm like studying <laughs> fucking Atlantis. It's kind of one of those professions that stops a dinner party. Show. All right, don't throw him under the bus like that. Okay, Defend your wine. man. Come on. I'll have a little more wine, please. And I'll take my bow. The class is world history. World history. My name is Mr. Isaac. Mr. Isaac. The class will be broken up in hey, you. units. And each unit needs to study the lessons of the library. Look on your desk. I wrote you some. Oh, she's sitting right next to me. 
I'm like totally tuning him out right now. You're a weird neighbor. We are in the same class. What a coincidence. Please keep that in mind that while we're at school, we do not know each other. Do not talk to me ever. Love, Chloe. Oh, come on. This is a quote. I want each of you to write it down. Not doodle on the sidelines. Not stare off. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. I'm going to fucking look at her if I want. Okay. Now I will go on to the next slide. Don't tell me what to do. Chloe, tell me. What did the quote say? Um... Right, I definitely know this. Oh, can I, like, give her the layup? You were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? Oh, yes. So oh, yeah. I got you. I got you. So psst, psst, those psst, psst, who do not remember the past, repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed uh it is. Though I prefer you to answer without the help of your oh, boyfriend. Oh, boyfriend. Oh, my we God. do not keep an accurate account of the past, we are destined... The payers. In all sorts of I love this guy's accent. And now, on to what you've all been waiting for. Grades. Oh, boy. Assessments. 60%. Those are tests and quizzes. God bless. Class work. 20%. That's work we do. Imagine taking notes, time. by the way. Participation. I asked 20%. So, I guess I'll have to pay. You were thinking about killing me? Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, imagine taking notes in class. That's for fucking nerds. I never took notes. Still got straight A's, baby. Easy clap. All right, I think we're done here. I tried was able to hold out long enough. I like how they give you breaks in between with like things you can interact with. What is this? Oh, it's a video game. Little guys are pretty cute, though. I will admit oh, maybe I can be a pro gamer, esports oh, player. Good job of whoever gets paid to think of that crap. Consters. So it's like Pokemon. Oh, it's totally like Pokemon. Is it Consters or Conksters? Because you know people say it Conk. I'm pretty sure that's the right way to say it, but well, you know, right in quotes. Conkster is a new con. Testant has approached. At long vast, your favorite conchers are ready for battle for the playscape. Join Marcy and her four sad brothers as they search for their lost mother, the legendary Queen Conch, and trap gooey monsters as Dr. Ebb's padded seashells and course them in spectacular battles. When all else fails, just use your conscience. <laughs> Barnacles, Shrump, Lobstar, Clam Dunk, Anam Anamigo. These are like actual Pokemon names, by the way. Dope. I'm gonna be a fucking pro gamer. I've definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys have become friends. Benny and a Chloe oh, sitting yeah. in a tree. K I S S I N G. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Oh, she's. Did Dad just thank me for hanging out with you? Okay, don't. That's don't. a very interesting detail. Dad, why would you do that? Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. I really want this one. Tickle stick, gill net, Maybe use bait, I'll fishing use... spear. Well, draw it. Holy shit, I'm cracked. Look at that art. Whoa, that's a pretty good drawing. You should draw pictures of more different stuff. True, you're Not right. me, though. Oh, I'm totally going to draw I'll her. I'll actually kill you if you try to draw me. And you saw what I'm capable of. Draw anyway? Yeah. Hell yeah. Benny, We're absolutely cracked. What do you mean? That's great. Enough. That is great. I look so ugly. Aw, oh, come Ugh. on. So dramatic. We got the fucking bagel bites. Jesus Christ. What do you mean? That's a great drawing. It's called a magnet school. What the fuck is a magnet school? But I don't want to go to a magnet school. I want to stay with my girlfriend. Town called Bert. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. You know, Since founding in 1894, places, let's see if I can read all this. Really, really good at Since this. founding in 1994 by Colin Garrett Burton, our preparatory has a single mission to offer gifted children and adolescents the opportunity to realize their highest potential as leaders of the next generation of performing musicians. 
Our comprehensive curriculum includes private instruction with top faculty, studio classes in chamber music, music theory, and history, as well as enrichment studies in career development and personal presentation skills. Our preparatory provides the pre-college training essential for a truly exceptional young performers like you who want to dedicate themselves to music with an eye on becoming a professional. We will help you reach your full artistic potential. So if you think you might have what it takes, come schedule an audition with us. Your bright future is waiting. Okay, this is a scam. Fuck this. No, this place sounds terrible. So what do you think? Oh God, Benjamin? the fuck is this guy? Cell in that sort of an environment. Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. Oh, if what a fucking painting! You say he is shyness is no. You feel problem. a tooth coming in? Why don't you two Dang. come back closer to the end of the year for an? Audition? I want to go to my same school. I want to stay with my friends. Can start learning. I can be an. I don't need to go to music school. I can be an artist. I can be a photographer. So, I understand oh. you were a musician yourself. Yeah, give me that lore. Give me that lore. Where did you study? Oh, Berkeley. But Berkeley? I was in the Ugh. Department. Dog school, actually. Ah, uh, and who did you study under? Let Don them love, don't split them? Yeah, I hope yeah. I get a choice. I understand. Although, it's kind of, I can see how it'd be yeah. difficult. You don't want to disappoint your mom. The word I use. But it's like... Taciturn. Yes. People have described me that way. If I definitely want to stay with my no, friend. I would never. And yeah, I can be an artist or photographer or something. I wouldn't either. Bro, I absolutely fucking hate this guy, by the way. You seem very warm. Very caring. You're such a fucking capper. What? This guy, warm and caring? Look at him. He's a fucking mummy. Look at that painting. That's not warm and caring. What? He's like a fucking evil. He's like a James Bond villain, dude. Guys, yo, what's up, man? How's it hanging? Bach, the well-tempered clavier, 48 preludes and fwigs. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there, and a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try, and we can see if you. No pressure, she says. I can feel the pressure already. She's like a fucking anime character like with that pressure. Really rise to the occasion. Just this one. I wish I had the Why are you acting like I like just that this that once? You're fuck you. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. What? Crumple. Yeah, fuck. Fuck actually. Was that, was that the piece? What is going on with you these days? I barely know whose kid you're supposed to be. <sighs> fuck you. Oh my god, Benny. Oh, Jesus. Okay, don't be dramatic. You're actually being like my mom. Stop being such a fucking bitch. No pressure. Let me do what I want to do. I don't want to go to your stupid music school. And how- she's like, I wouldn't live in this piece of shit town with my piece of shit kid and my piece of shit husband. What the fuck? Fuck you. Remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. I'm gonna like do this perfectly. She's gonna bitch at me still. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. No! Don't tell me what to do! Wait, I wanted to answer it. What the fuck? calling you again? What, is she obsessed with you? She's my f So listen, I found a concert What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick Hey, mom, I don't care. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on right now? Oh, God. Okay, you know, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't raise your voice like that. Well, then don't stick your nose into things that you're completely checked out of. Okay. What do you, he's the dad. Awkward. Oh, she could hear that. That's awkward. But you should also cherish this moment. Okay, don't lecture me. My dad used to fight, and I would always hate it, but now I actually miss it a lot. Anyway, oh, wait, are her parents so divorced? The board, <laughs> she just moves on anyway. Yeah, well tell me about the strategy lobster guide. Type. So, we gotta be leaning on Lobstar a lot more in these reef battles. Gotcha, gotcha. Then, once we get to the trench... Yeah, give me these Conchsters fucking types, strategy guide. Chondric, okay. Uh -huh. But we haven't even gotten any of those yet. 
Anyway, it's all pretty complicated. Yeah, so Pokemon gets can rough. Go over in history class tomorrow. Oh yeah, perfect but time. Listen, I definitely don't want you to play without me. Yeah, no, of course but not. But if you do end up playing without me, spend as much time as possible in the red reef because that's supposedly where you can. I told you guys, I'm like a fucking we're for sure gonna need. staring contest god. Uh, we'll I don't need to blink. Tomorrow, okay? Also, I think I can kind of cheat it because I have glasses on. So, if I do it right, I can actually blink and not make it move. Anubis. Anubis. <laughs> oh, bro, this guy's accent. The goddess of truth and justice. You sound... you weigh the deceased soul against a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. Hey, this is the guy from the boat. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see Whale. that ugly fur ball under the scale. That is hey, armament. And she's got and yes, Kaji, move on from the tragic topic. Yeah, she gives me like a super heavy lecture about cherishing Hawaiian. moments with my parents. See, and then she's like, anyways, yeah, back to Pokemon strategy. Though I would not say that to her face. Oh, she sent me a yeah. note. As you can see, tonight after my dad goes to sleep, I'm gonna sneak out my house and go to sleep on the beach. If you want to get invited, draw me a picture of Mr. Isaac feeling constipated. Gotcha. Sort of like me with your weekly quizzes. <laughs> oh, why would you laugh? Why is he so scared, Kaylee? Okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. You better pick up my call, dude. Oh, I, that was that was weird audio. That was like that was like mailed in audio. Actually, that was hella weird. Like, did you hear that, like, distortion? Well, that was like, she recorded that in her, like, her closet or something. Yeah, because he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought. That's not yeah. true! Okay, well, listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Just gonna furiously play the piano. Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I, I'm a good artist, what do you mean? But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Oh my god! No, I suppose you're right. Oh, Wicked, please. Why is our mom I such like a that. bitch? What do you mean, why is he like that? Why are you like this? It's you! Stop being a bitch! Hello? She's like, actually a total narcissist. She's like, this lady is like, couldn't make it as a musician. She wants to live through me, but I don't want to do that shit, man. Let me live my life. Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Wicked, tell your son to turn the lights off. Danny, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says, you say. Uh, Danny, <laughs> I say Not mom turn says. Turn the lights off, not just mom. Danny? Tell him you're okay. Mm. You're supposed to be in the room. Oh, parenting drama. God, she's a total bitch. Oh, try and sleep or sneak out. Oh. <sighs> sorry, mom. I'm sorry, mom. Wow, didn't think you'd actually pick up. I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. <laughs> a baby. Okay, so yeah, fuck it. in the alley in T minus now, okay? Rose before hoes, but hoes before moms. And that's a fact. I didn't realize that the she wanted us to meet up the night of, before the audition. You know, I'm really glad you're here. But yeah, I think they're obviously There's making meaning to talk to you about. the mom being so bad, or like, to get it's off obviously a conscious choice. Something is probably going to happen okay. to her or something. I don't think Conquestors is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend. And he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. A what? Pokemon? He calls it a cash grab. So I'm to be sorry fair, I made you like it because it's, <laughs> it's actually a it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Like, my favorite vegetable is a tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. 
I'm like trying to connect these dots, but also focus on what she's saying. Okay, that was super uncalled for. I also like hanging out with you the most. Okay, you kind of made up for it with that. was also something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, is she going to confess? I like hanging out with you a lot. Which is weird, because after what happened with my mom, I never like hanging out with anyone. Oh, this music is giving me the shivers. So, this has been a big surprise for me this year. In a lot of ways. What is it? This is like spelling I out like stay here, I think. My yeah, this is definitely stay talk. here. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Bro, how, how could I... How could I give this up for the stupid music school? I don't even want that. And I could still be like... I could, like I said, I could be a photographer. I can be an artist. Like... Enjoying the moment. But I actually need to blink, so. Probably Pose before bitches, off. true. On the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It'll be fine. I'm clutch. I'm clutch. It's okay. You still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Yeah, nah. We're Maybe gonna... Ch try this is gonna be bad. Now get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Close your eyes, Ben. Going to be there soon. Oh, we're gonna. Ch <laughs> this is gonna be awful. We're gonna get laughed off the stage. <laughs> I'm like, tr I'm literally tripping from sleep exhaustion. Although I couldn't even Your imagine that. Time, that seems super Benjamin. unrealistic. We but maybe it's like excited to hear when I was a kid. Yeah, I needed way less sleep actually. Or maybe it just, when I had less sleep, it didn't fuck me as much. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> oh, God. I can already hear it. It's so bad. He's gonna, like, be like, you're trash. Leave. Oh, okay. Okay. I <laughs> Yeah, I was right. <laughs> so, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again once you've had a bit more time to uh, practice? Uh, yes. Oh my God, my mom is gonna you know, bitch at me so hard. Isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may take you. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Fuck and I this really kid. I want to thank you and your mother for coming all the way out here. I know it was quite the drive. <laughs> that was bad. yeah, that was bad. But maybe I I wonder if I maybe could I do it even hard. without sleep. Maybe I turned into my own father. Maybe I'm just like forced to fail cuz I feel like I was keeping up, you but have maybe to find not. something to focus on. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. And yes, Mom, I'm glad you realized you were pushing me too hard. I didn't want to be a musician. I don't want to go to a different school. Thank you for realizing. Oh. Play big, be great. Oh, maybe I can be a game dev. I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. Hey, Mom, you're stressing too much. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm built different. We want him home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. Oh, what? I'm in the fucking hospital. Hey, El, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo. Okay? Are they gonna can I like eavesdrop or is it like Yeah no I'm just gonna blink. This is long? Uh I don't know about that. It's only been like an hour. Having him home for a little means I can spend more time with him. You know? 
We can focus in the tree. Bang engage. Oh, this seems important. Speak a little softer. I can tell it's important because they're forcing me to hold on for so long. Uh, oh, or not, I guess maybe it's not. Okay, I'll just blink. So, what exactly? Am I like sick? Like sick, sick? Just chilling out on the beach, I guess. Damn, I'm like, I'm really going through it right now, aren't I? I'm just chilling at, <laughs> chilling on the beach. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Oh, I'm not in the hospital. Maybe I'm just normal sick. Never mind. Or like slightly sick. I don't know. What do I do then? What do you want me to do? Well, gotta wait for her to leave, I guess. Is this story about depression? Uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you. We kind of need to see the story. <laughs> I'm sure we'll figure it out. Damn, I have lots of trophies. I'm a hockey star. And then, yeah, more music awards. Yay. Just like all the old days. Mr. Boat. All right, I need to blink. <sighs> and my mom said she wanted me to do something productive. Like that's gonna happen. Oh, oh yeah, art time. True art, artist art, artist art. Fuck music, art time. I can draw like anime titties. Maybe I can be a furry artist. Those guys make bank. We did meet a furry in the end. God, I'm actually kind of cracked. Gustav Klimt. What about piano? Wait, am I sick? How long is this time period where I'm staying home? Like, it makes it sound like I'm, like, really sick. Am I gonna f- Damn, that's actually- that's a really good drawing. It's kind of, like, uncanny with the eye, though. Although, I guess that's a painting at this point. Oh, I won a contest! It's not even centered properly. Woo! Easy! Easy! Really gotta thank you for this, Benny. Emma Bills is so pissed that weird camera kid won over her multiple horse portrait. Fuck she Emma. Literally just left with her dad in here. L L loser loser. Oh, I mean it's not bad. Honestly, it's a bit more cohesive than mine. That's like literally off the page, but okay, that one's pretty good. Eh. Not bad. They just ain't me. Sucks to suck. Art school application. Question three. In two short paragraphs, describe what makes you want to pursue a career in the arts. So what? We're just going to draw a picture probably? Oh. <laughs> Bro, we're fucking genius. We just drew the picture of us drawing the picture. That's insane. Yeah, fuck music. All right, who the hell are you? You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you... Where'd the skull come from? Sham. There is no teaching art. There is no teaching art. So don't just sit there slack, John. Chillax, bro! 
I'm going. I went. Chill. Chill. Bro. Oh, there was a skull. I thought I was looking at the fucking light. <laughs> Never mind. Look at that. Damn, we're actually cracked. Oh my god! Ew. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! <laughs> oh, how very wacky and fun! Oh, wacky and fun! Oh, I can change the style. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's very zany. Very kitsch. Kitsch. Lucky for you, the world is always in need of more greeting card artists. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. That was uncalled for. Is this the teacher posing, by the way? That seems like... Never mind. You know what? Let's move on. Oh my god, we're getting like really modern arty, I guess. There you go, Mr. Brin. There you go, he says. This isn't anything. This is a sheep. This is a sheep. Bro, this is actually modern art. <laughs> like, what am I drawing? What the fuck is this? And this guy's loving it, apparently. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. <laughs> yeah, let's see it. See, oh my god! Oh, the masterpiece! <laughs> Guys, I, I could actually draw that. I could actually draw that. Talent like these. May soon be swept away by a whirlwind. Goose laugh? Well, gonna be honest, man, that's kind of fucked up. You probably shouldn't be making fun of, th of people for things like that. Let's hear you laugh. I'm stuck. The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincere. Ironic? Oh my god, fuck <laughs> these art people. So thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. What the fuck are they talking about? Literally, what? Those words aren't in the dictionary, bro. What are you saying? I know that lots of Asians gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, open the door. I like how we're just like, like ignoring our mom and like just drawing. I wish I had thought of it that way. Ooh, the cup noodles, the breakfast of champions. Benjamin! Marvelous show last week. Truly stunning. I've never been prouder. I literally don't know who that is. Now, I want you to cut that card <laughs> into little pieces and feed it to an alley cat. Elba Prasenhuber is not in the business of the arts. Elba Prasenhuber is in the business of business. And you, child, what is this guy? You are what? Yeah, I'm not a businessman, I'm an artist! You got it, Teach. Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. Oh, is it? Oh, am I? This is me selling out. Do I sell out? Do I sell out? No. I am an artist. Now look at that. You've crumpled my contract. <laughs> oh, whatever you want. Sure, you got talent, but what's talent? Okay, you sound like my mom, bitch. Fuck you. Okay, that's it. Get out of Get my, out of my office. office. Get out of my you office. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. Fuck you. you I'll draw you a middle finger. <laughs> yeah, let's see who's laughing in the end, bitch. Fuck you. I'm an artist. To being a difficult artist, the best of us are. 
I'm gonna be fucking Picasso, bro. I'm no fucking sellout. Cheers! Ah, this is divine. So, Though I don't drink. That shit's poison. Where will you fly? Well, I've always wanted to go to Greece. Just somewhere abroad. This American air can be stifled. No making fun of Eclipse tier? Well, no, you can make fun of me. I don't no care. If we both only get appetizers, I can afford My to feelings won't be hurt, but I thank you for the dinner. There are some things you should say and you shouldn't say in general. I don't mind, but is a word of advice. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Oh, am I in Greece? I am in Greece. Artist! I'm an artist! Holy shit, it's Benjamin Brin! It That's me! Holy shit, it's art! It's art! I'm an artist! Hell yeah, <laughs> fuck that bitch! Oh, but listen to me, Benjamin. Now is the single most important moment in your entire career. Collectors, curators, how we all love a rising star and how bored we become. Benjamin Brin, the young master. Captivating. Brin reinvents reinvention and then reinvents it again. If you have eyes, you will love this show. Okay, the first one is like the most pretentious bullshit ever. The second one is a great one. If you have eyes, you'll love it. That's a good, that's good. That's a good review. That's a great phrase. What are you going to do? Paint me to death? Yeah, I'll fucking paint a, paint that bitch a portrait with her blood. Just kidding. Violence is never the answer. Violence is the question and the answer is yes. I'll just stop chatting for now. All right. Well, hey, as long as enjoy the stream however you want, my man. Okay, I won't. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today. And, Wait. Well, I'm, I'm going to be a little sick for a while. Maybe I should be worrying. Really, I, I don't want you worrying about it at all. You're a such I mean, you're a bitch, but you're still my mom. No. Oh, Danny, I told you not to pick up. There's nothing you can do for me right now. All you can do is just keep I mean, painting. I can multitask. Wow. Don't worry. God, why would you say it like that? She's like, it sounds like she's about to cry. She definitely has cancer? Yeah, no. She definitely has something. Definitely. But, that's enough from me. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing oh my God, are we at? my wife was most proud of. We're at her fucking funeral. Her magnum opus, so to speak. Bro, what? I think you all know Wait, what oh my god. Benny? You ready to come up here? No? Bro, what? J like, like, just like that? I mean, damn, she was... I mean, she kind of, yeah, was like... Happy? Strict, but Say like, something. she just wanted what was best for me. Oh God, bro! It happened so fast, though. What's oh. wrong? Why aren't you talking? I don't know why I'm not talking. Am I like having PTSD? I talk to big, very important people every day. And there's one thing that everybody is asking me. What's going on with Benjamin Brin? And what am I supposed to say? That I haven't heard from my star pupil in six months? This is getting ridiculous. Bro, my mom just fucking died. What do you mean? Fuck you. 
Although, I guess maybe we haven't told him, to be fair. But still, like, cut me some fucking slack, man. You are a snake. You are a fraud. But what? first of all, Benjamin, huh? you are a little tease. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is a genius. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is silent because Benjamin Brain is hard at work creating his greatest work yet. But you are doing nothing! The world has forgotten you, Benjamin! They have moved on! And I... I have moved on too. You have broken my heart. This guy can't be real, right? Fuck you! Bro, my mom just fucking died! I'm like fucking cancer or some shit. And he's like, You're not fucking painting, bro. You're not an artist. Fuck you, bro. You're a fucking hack. Fuck did you have you done? You're just a fucking teacher. You didn't do shit. Hey B. Just call <laughs> It looked you. like a Moai? Well it's modern art. What can I say? Yeah, you're telling me. I'm yeah, cooped. I'm in here cooped up with a fucking again. picture of her. Drawing her over and over again. I hope you understand. Oh. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up the yeah, phone. Yeah, I guess it was a good thing I did. Well, I'm just so happy that you did. Bro, that would be fucked up. Her last she call, you to focus on and you. it's like, I just ignore it and she that fucking dies. The only thing that mattered her. Speaking of Picasso and Picasso was asked what he thought about the movie. He basically said he didn't see it as important at all. Well, I mean, Picasso was definitely not mentally well. So, what is it? Keep or toss? I'll keep Mr. Boat. Bro, like the art of being a dictator more than being an artist? Yeah. You know what they say? Those who can't teach. Or those who can't do, teach. I mean, I'll keep this. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't. Your precious memory. What's that? What's so fascinating, son? Oh, is this hers? Her song? Oh, it is her song. Can I get why it's sad now? Yeah, just a, just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's actually such a nice song, actually. I just want to listen to it, but I need to blink. Look, it's unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's standing in the room with us. Like I can see her in the paint. <clears throat> You're just waiting for me to cry? Maybe not yet. We'll have to see. Maybe a bit more build up. Phone guys, look, our character is an Austrian painter. Okay, come on, come on. The passing day, inspired by the musical composition of his late mother, the composer Elle Stevens. It's, Stephen. you, it, it's Chloe, your neighbor. Oh my God. My god, I can't believe this. It's been years. 
I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. Oh, Redemption Arc? Redemption Arc? Well, I want to read this first. Relatively unknown in her life, Bryn lifted his mother's work out of obscurity with the creation of this piece she is now considered to be one of the greatest, comp the great composers of her time. Holy shit, we're caring. Nice. I just can't it's like the actually the Vincent Van Gogh art. Childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. Jokes aside, it's a really sad story. I yeah, a it. little I bit. Mean, all those little drawings you did. Remember when you still drew my portrait, even when I begged you not to? I do. I was there. God, you were such a little jerk back okay, then. Okay, you're one to talk. I kept that drawing. You were you such know? a brat. Oh my God, I bet it's worth quite a bit of money. I was gonna say, but don't go there. Come on. Precious memories. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. I like how all my paintings are like complete trash. Like this one's good, that one's good, but then these are just like actual just modern art garbage. Hey, so not to be forward. Oh, and then we got the hand but, painting. Uh, what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? Oh my god. Marriage arc? Marriage arc? I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. Oh, this I one's good. All about it. Oh, what the fuck? What? What? Now would you look at that? Oh my god. Okay, we're back to this guy. <laughs> not believe my luck. Bro, I was getting into it. What the fuck, bro? Fucking furry fisherman. Oh, he's busting a move. Hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a... Whoa! Ho -ho. Well, there you are. Bro, I was trying to... I was remembering my life. Thank you very much. If I realized I would have cleaned up, I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> yeah, we're built different, I, mean, I guess. Sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes. Okay, college here, athletes is nothing, bro. Ooh, an internationally renowned painter? Yeah, you hit the jackpot, huh? The gatekeeper's going to eat you. I kind of wanted to see what happened hey, the rest of my life of though. That, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice since you know I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all yeah, the just a thesaurus right next to him. Proper composition. If you catch well, my drift. I get it, cause art pun, I get it, bro. Forget about it. Alright. Here we go. Gatekeeper, oh, and I can I can blink as much as I want. You thank God. The soul of a great man. Damn straight. Now, would you describe yourself? I still want to know what happened to me though. Kid. Like we're going through our life. That wasn't our life. That was just part of it. I guess we're almost at the end, though. Happy or lonely? Which is more accurate? Probably. A, uh, a jovial child. Or uh, a I mean, we had like one friend, so. <laughs> His childhood was a lonely one. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Up as a strange, quiet okay, you didn't need to say strange. Isolated seaside town. You didn't need to say strange. What'd you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? Okay, come on. I'm not gonna do her like that. My mom, my mom was an accountant. No, she was an artiste, just like His me. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? <sighs> Oh, that's tough. Honestly, it's a, it's honestly a bit of both. Or, or more like a taskmaster. I'm gonna be honest though. Even though she died, though, she was kind of, yeah. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over demanding, forcing him to practice day okay, in. Okay, that really makes it sound really out, bad. Hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. How about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Oh, come on. Was don't ask me that. Don't. Best you're going to make me blush. Or your first love. Oh, come on. Now be honest here. Yeah, I'm, I'm being honest, bro. 
But obviously we're crushing on her. Audition, he completely dropped the okay, ball, why are you phrasing it like this, bro? All night with his first love. Okay, why? Blowing it the Come next on! Day. <laughs> you didn't need to include me choking at the audition, man. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on Okay, him. I really don't like his he story anymore. He didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. The story kind of sucks. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium. Okay, there we go. There we go. Come on, like, start talking good See, about me, man. When he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. Damn, that thing and took that over year, a year? He rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious way. Okay, now life. we're getting somewhere, man. Preach. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the getting eye closer of a to the tower. professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. But be quiet. Yeah, shut With up, expectations birds. on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy. Ma, 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 it ma, out to ma, be a ma. blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work. Yeah, shut up. Would ultimately be Why should he be honest to some wolf, dude? Well, I think the point is, yeah, actually, shut up, goals. Anyway, what was I saying? I think the point is... Okay, now that's quiet. The point is... We're telling him our story because he's basically trying to, like, get us into heaven or some shit. So if we get in this tower and, like, the person lets us in, he gets paid and we get to go to heaven or something. And then otherwise we turn to one of these seagulls and he eats us, apparently. I, much anyway. I should probably tell you. Those things, they're not regular goals. They're liar birds. Liar birds? They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. Oh, so it's if you lie. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Oh, he doesn't eat them, I guess. Living reminders of my... Wait, so... Shortcomings. Are you calling me a liar? Oh, yeah. Good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Why are you telling me this? Well, you won't be seeing him again. <laughs> You're a flea bitten sap. You know that? Oh, we w Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Oh, he's totally calling me a liar. Was I lying? I don't actually know. I don't know. Oh, God. Now, don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past Oh, God, what did I do? Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black... Okay, I don't know what I did, but and I chill. You Although maybe it's fair, I don't know. Sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. Okay, don't sniff me. Don't make it weird. But it's too late for that. Oh, God. We're in this together. Gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. What is the truth then? So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning, and this time I want the truth. Okay, I have a, okay, I get a second chance. Okay, okay, I'll tell the truth this time. I didn't know this I was lying. Schoolyard staring contest, buddy. You want to bet? Yeah, you best close those beady little eyes of yours. No, I'll wait. I'll wait. Fuck you. No, I need to blink. Me waiting for the moment you cry? I mean, I don't know if I'll cry. I said I might cry because I heard this game was really sad. But I think we're getting there because we're going to have a big reveal, apparently. Not this. 
Okay. But I, st I mean, I still want to look at it, though. Memory's my dead mom. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Bro, I'm, I'm like reliving my memories now. with my mom. Chillax. Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? I don't... You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him. You went from the chill fisherman to children? death from Puss in Boots? Yeah, my bad. I did not I see that. I didn't think realize was. that was coming, to be this. honest. We need to move. Okay, man, but like, let me, let me watch it, dude. This. Stay here. Oh, this was important. I knew it was important. On that phone call. Okay, so there are, th so there's like a couple scenes like this. So these were ones that were important. Okay, that's why they like didn't nothing happen when we got to them. These have to be important. I need to like hold out. Okay, thank God. Whew. I'm getting it. So yeah, there's like this Hello? one, the one with the cats, and then there's the yes, one after we're sick. Elle, his daughter. Wait, did so, so something? Oh. Oh, what is see. It? She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And then he died. And now, she never could. Oh. Let's keep going. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Let's move. Bro, just let me enjoy my memories again, man. Fine. Eternally indebted. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you to stay focused. I get it, man. We have important stuff to do, but like, let me. Ernie. Let me cook. Kid. Papa. I yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. I'm still not oh, how you let the cat wait. We're gonna see what happened to the kittens, even though I already know what happened. That one was pretty obvious. I didn't realize the one about the dad. Oh, there's blood this time. Okay. I yeah, I kind of already knew what happened, but like now we're gonna see it. That's great. So we got dads dying, then we got kids dying. You, you gotta love it. Oh, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Although maybe I don't want to see this. Too late now. The death of those oh cats my must have God. a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. Oh my! Yeah, I did not need to see that. Listen to him, Richard. My imagination was I definitely good enough. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. skip yeah this stuff isn't that important I like okay this is kind of important lot, which is weird because after what happened with my mom i never like hanging out with anyone i know you want to stay here man but we don't it literally says time. that it literally says that i want to but for me this year fine making me remember the trauma actually though i'm worried about who you are benny i'm worried about who you're going to become i get all this we need to move Okay, fine, man. Fine. Whatever. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Is Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Let you two go. We can focus him. Make sure he's okay. very engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really don't want to be talking about this. 
This seems important. Well, it obviously is important. <laughs> I don't know where the lie is, though. Like, that we're like seeing our memories, but how does this make us a liar? Oh, What's I need the a, point. I need to hold. Okay. What do you mean? I need to have my eyes closed. What's the point? I was like, why the fuck is something happening? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? Of what? If he's never going to get any better. Okay, this is like really ASMR right now. They're like okay. right in my ears. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. Oh, what if? I. It's okay. He's asleep. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs. Ah woo! Ah woo! Wait, but we said we got sick, didn't we? Okay, you don't need a howl tool, man. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Yeah, like a year. Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Mm-hmm. Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. Oh, is it something that happened while you were sick? We're almost at the end of this. I promise. Well, I guess we'll see. Okay, I remember this. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Clips falls asleep. Yeah, when I had my had to hold my eyes closed, maybe. Okay, so was it what happened during this? What happened? Try writing with it. Hi, mom. Well, <laughs> hello, Benny. It was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. So artsy. <laughs> We're so sassy. Exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. What do I write about? Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's a story I want to hear. Story of who you're going to become, okay? Hmm. Oh. Is this VR or something? Well, the way it works is it's like you control it with your webcam. So see the icon stuff? You blink to move it. So it's like... Especially in the early, like I said, I can hold my eyes open so it's like you could see a lot, but like some things it's like you might just blink and then miss a scene or something like that. So it's kind of like, you know, your life is like going before your eyes, you're trying to like hang on to memories and stuff like that. So yeah, it's like you control the game by blinking, but obviously you have to blink sometimes so you might miss stuff. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing? Okay, I think I'm... I think I'm kind of picking up what it's putting down, but let's see. The lonely one growing up a strange and quiet child in an isolated... So yeah, this is the story he was telling, so this isn't... I don't... I don't have a good feeling about this. Mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, job is. I mean, this is just what he said, yeah, but. 
Damn, we spelled our own name wrong. <laughs> Damn. Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. But on the eve of Oh God, no! He completely dropped the ball. How? Oh. All night with his first love and blowing oh it Oh my next God! Time. How embarrassing! First love? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. But I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another night wouldn't be the same night, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, back to the story. He'd love finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. Man, you take your doodle seriously. See, that's like kind of like the realize, gimmick behind the game. Like right now, I'm like forcing my eyes open to hear what she's saying. It. I do. But if you didn't have my iron staring contest skills, you might just lose like moments like these. And also, I can kind of cheat it a bit. Because I have glasses on, so I can kind of like sneak a blink. in there for about 30 minutes, so try to get comfortable. An MRI? Yeah. Hmm. You're doing great, buddy. Just a little longer, okay? Yeah, healthy kids don't get MRIs. The creature memories follow me to the afterlife. <laughs> See, same, but they follow me in my life. That's why I don't think. Knock, knock. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading loud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. Well, yeah. Can't. Just go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just can't. Not right now. Okay, don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, B. Just wanted you to know that Mom loved your story. She's just... I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up a strange and quiet Sorry for not child. talking, by the way. I'm just, like, getting into it now. I mean, I'm certainly bummed you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where'd you learn to write so well? All those cool words. It reads like Dickens. <laughs> really just... Very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Okay. Love you, buddy. <sighs> it's cold of her to do that. You mean the mom? Well, I think the point kind of is that she's emotional over it because it's basically we're kind of writing about the life we wanted to have, which I'm not sure we're going to be able to have at the moment. Like, imagine your kid telling you your hopes and dreams, and it's like your kid telling you your ho their hopes and dreams, and it's just like you know that's not going to happen. Benjamin Brin was a loser. He was the worst friend to ever live. Bro, it's not your fault you got sick, my man. He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. Okay. He just laid down and died. Oh, mm, mm -mm. Da 
that doesn't look good. That really doesn't look good. I need to, okay. So if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know okay. my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, <clears throat> I understand it hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been, uh, it's been a rough one. So we're not, it's clearly getting worse. goes away for now Hey Eddie Yeah, hey man, it's Richard Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay, well, well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said, screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. Bro, imagine being this fucker, dude. Her kid's fucking dying. Why did you, uh, so when can your wife get back to work? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, buddy? Like, Jesus, fuck. Yo, it's not going away, by the way. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking just so you don't have to go to school with me is actually ridiculous. I don't know if you're embarrassed about our night at the beach together so you're avoiding me or what, but I just wanted to call to say I really don't appreciate being lied to. And it's not that I need your help in history class, you know. I actually never needed your help in history class. And I just pretended because you were clearly really lonely and you had no friends. And it was my New Year's resolution to be nicer to people. So, I just wanted to say that you've reminded me why I wasn't nice to people in the first place. And I wish I never met you. And goodbye forever. Bruh. I mean... Hmm. Like, I would normally be mad, but it's, like, actually just so sad. It's, like, I mean, now she's a kid, it's, like, oh, God. 
That's not good. I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. I mean, not as tough as now, but yeah, our music had been rejected, and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here, and I feared that yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano. I mean, just her little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. <clears throat> yeah, this guy's one of the saddest I've heard of. Yeah, it's really, it's getting really depressing, isn't it? figure out how to play that. Trying to hate the study sees his son as a way to get the mom back. I feel like that's being a really ungenerous way of looking at it when his kid's fucking dying. Like they're just trying to deal with it. Don't like like yeah, I don't know. It's like it's it seems really harsh to me, but you are entitled to your opinion. Get well soon. Mommy doesn't care about her son really in the first place. I get. I feel like that's really just unfair, actually. Like I play it up for the content and stuff, but I mean that's it's not unreasonable. She wants her. She wanted her dream. Her dream was to be a musician. Her son's good at music. She wants her son to be a great musician. And yeah, it's kind. Of I was close to dying. I feel like that's well, what do you mean? He's not abandoned him. They're right here in the house. Like, we're not seeing everything. That's the point, my man. Like, whatever, whatever. You can think what you want. I'm just gonna make you sick. I'm just gonna enjoy the story. Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? I'm getting her a sashimi plate. <laughs> what? What? I think she more than deserves it. Oh, I think you're right. been over 
Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. Okay, I did not... I thought her parents got divorced. I didn't realize her mom died. Oh my god. Yeah, no wonder he didn't say anything. Reminds you too much of other people. I used to know that's why I have a biased view. No, that's fair. I mean, I my mom is a complete fucking bitch too. Both my parents are kind of dog shit. I fucking hated my mom. So it's like, that's why I feel like this one you can at least feel like she cares. It's like, just, you know, it's a hard situation. You can't really say... Basically, you know, who knows how you'd act in a situation like this? Because most people don't even have to go through anything like this in their life. It's just not going away now, is it? Oh my god, you're an idiot. <laughs> You know, it's like really like the cat comes, she comes, it goes away. It's like rather. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um, I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day and how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But... Hey! What are you looking at? <laughs> Don't look up there! Look at me! I'm talking to you! I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm gonna leave. Close your eyes now, okay? You know, I like the game calling me out on looking at the star thing instead of what what she was saying. You're your neighbor kid. You are my first love. Love Chloe. <clears throat> Fuck, man. I don't know if you guys can tell, but... Even my mouse is getting, like, slower. Eating less, drinking less. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. <laughs> but do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah. Uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. <clears throat> well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. I can't even.
can't even take our pills. Oh god. I can't breathe. I know. I know. It, it's okay. Benny, I understand. There's no need to show me anymore. No, Richard, it's like I can't breathe. Like there's this clamp on my chest. I know. It's okay. You can come back to me now. You have to do something. Richard, I can't breathe. I feel like I can't breathe. It's okay, Benny. Just close your eyes. Yeah, I... I you know, for a while honest, now, I didn't wanna... I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. Yeah, I, I, if I just don't have grand enough words. I don't know if I wanted to see all that, to be honest. Stories. But grand words I think I would have rather been ignorant to the reality. They may be overrated. <clears throat> I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go get ready. Don't worry. We got this. I think. Please give me some, like, happiness, man. Like, it's just too depressing otherwise. Like, it can't be, like, a real happy ending, because, you know. But, like, give me something, man. That's so fucking... Wish me luck. Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. I don't know if I'm ready to hear it, man. Oh, God. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story really so imaginative and the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy my only issue was well I didn't like him very much so I wanted to read you something I wrote for you which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now it's called the Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home, to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by oh, the come sea. On, don't play this song. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So, when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't <sighs> lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live, which only made him forget the great life he already had, how he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise, how he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay again. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten. So when he knew he was going to go, he was okay. <clears throat> because he'd already lived a great life. A 
full life. And he was everything he needed to be. Just oh my god. She accepts. Close your eyes now. And keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. Go on. You know what to do. Why is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere that he likes. Mm. Mm. At least he got a happy ending in a way. Yeah, I mean, oh god. Yeah, I was like, sorry for not talking at all, like, towards the end, guys. I was just like, yeah, I was really into it. Just like, I don't know. But yeah, oh damn. It's okay to cry at Eclipse. I did cry. I'm crying right now. Now I'm not like full on, you know, crying like a baby, but trust me, there are some there are some tears for sure. Cause yeah, damn, that was fucking sad. Oh my god. Like, yeah, like, the part with the mom was getting me, like, at the, when we, in the fake version, I was starting to tear up a bit, and then at the end there, I was kind of, like, on the verge for most of it. But yeah, when it was, like, that last part, where she's telling her story about us, and, like, the melody kicks in, and it's like, you were, he was everything he needed to be. I mean, that's, like, yeah, that was, I was... I won't lie, I was crying. It wasn't like full on ugly crying like I did in the Amori stream. If you actually want to see me cry, just watch that. Cause yeah, that got, that one was bad. But. Are you doing the part the mom wants to start maybe angry in a way, but they say I got a happy ending? Yeah, I mean, like, I think that's kind of the point. Like, <clears throat> you're not supposed to think the parents are perfect, obviously, because the mom wasn't perfect. But I mean, the point is, I don't think you could say they didn't care. They obviously cared. And that's why, you know, it's hard, because it's like, why it makes it so... You know, it gets to you, because it's like, they aren't perfect. They aren't handling it perfectly, because it's like, how do you take something like that perfectly, you know? Your, your kid, your hopes, your dreams, your... is just gone, and you can't do anything about it. You just have to accept it. It's like... Yeah. I don't know. God. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, that was... That was definitely... I mean, it wasn't too long. We're just at about two hours, but yeah, that was very well put together, I will admit. And I know I, I didn't, like, like I said, the story actually got me quite a bit. I thought it was interesting for most of it, like the coming of age. And also, it's obviously different for you guys with the mechanics, because it's like, yeah, I'm like controlling with my blinking and all, which adds like a touch to it. But it's like, 
Yeah, the story, I wasn't expecting the obvious twist where it's like we were lying, and then, yeah, when it's like the actual twist is, fuck, we're, we didn't live the life because we fucking died from fucking whatever. It's like, yeah, it was, I mean, it just sucks. You can't phrase it in a way that it doesn't fucking suck, man. A fucking 12-year-old dying from a terminal illness. That's just fucked up no matter what, right? Ugh. That's why I was kind of harsh in judgment of appearance, because without context, reminding people I used to know people who are really bad individuals. Yeah, no, like, I'm not, like, judging you or anything. And besides, regardless, people you're allowed to... Oh, God, don't play this song. It's like, ugh. Anyway, yeah, no, like, you're allowed to think whatever you want. All my- anybody is. Like, you know, we can have different opinions about the same thing and they can both be valid. But yeah, I was just giving my point of view. But yeah, you need to have the context, obviously. Because yeah, they aren't perfect. I won't say they're perfect. I won't say they were the perfect parents. But yeah, it's just, yeah, shitty situation all around. That's why it fucking sucks. Because I don't, I don't want to play a fucking cancer kid. I want to watch- his parents cry, his fucking lose hope, fucking ugh. I don't want to think about it, cause then I'll like, I, the more I think about it, I'll start getting more emotional. But yeah, I don't know. It was definitely a well put together story. I did not see where it was going. Like I picked up on some of the foreshadowing, but it's like it kind of misleads you, cause it's like you think it's about one thing, but it's actually like this other thing. And yeah, the music was good, definitely. Her song is definitely a very beautiful melody for the game. I understand why they used it for the emotion, but yeah. You guys can't see, but I will admit I'm grown up enough to admit I did cry. I shed tears at this game. I wasn't full on bawling. Like I said, if you want to listen to me fucking actually cry like a baby, just watch my fucking last Amori stream, the ending. I was... That was bad. I was like fucking... That was really bad, actually. <laughs> I was, like, fucking losing it. But that one was also... In my defense, that one was, like, super late. Late at night when I was playing it. That one was super late at night when I was playing it. And I was, like, fucking, you know, like, five or six hours into the stream. Like, built up emotionally. And then also I related to the story a lot, actually, but... You know what? Fuck it. I'll show myself crying. I'll show you guys how bad it was, because, yeah... I have, I'm not ashamed of crying. I'll fucking play that shit right now. Fucking uh, YouTubeception. <laughs> fucking watching a video of my video. You guys are watching me watch my own video. Yeah, I'll put me ugly crying. Cause yeah, that was, that one really got me. I'll, I'll sing the praises of Amori. Cause yeah, that was a great fucking game. That one really made me, that one really got me. Most of you saw the beginning was just coping minutes so they can avoid reality. Yeah, Amori was really well put together. And also because it's like, it's a really slow burn too. And yeah, I don't know. Like, obviously this one is like real, right? You know, before your eyes, I mean. It's real and that it could happen. But even though it's depressing and sad, it's like, it's kind of... This is stuff you still, like, will conceptualize as that happens to other people, you know? You'll never think it would happen to you. But, like, Amori, like, the themes of it, like, you could apply that to most people. Even if it's not as severe. But yeah, let me pull that up, actually. I'll show you guys my ugly crying, because I didn't do it this one. Because, yeah, that was... I don't know, I really liked Amori. I'll say it ag again and again, I really enjoyed that game, because I don't normally get emotional over games. Well, you guys know, you watch me. I'm like fucking cracking jokes at the most horrific shit happening, but yeah, there are certain things that get me, for sure. I feel like I'm gonna throw up and I feel really bad, <laughs> I just wanna cry. Cry. I mean, I did, yeah, I'll admit it. But yeah, if you didn't get to see me ugly cry, so I'll show you, because, you know, why not? Let me pull it up. 
Might as well. This was a shorter game anyway. Yeah, this was... Yeah, I'm not ashamed of crying. But yeah. I'll show my ugly crying, because I don't think a lot of people got to see this one, because it was really late. Honestly, I might actually start crying re-watching it, because yeah, n even when I hear this fucking song, it, I actually tear up, because I add it to my playlist. Oh, because I became a really cringe Mori fanboy. I, yeah, I guess I was supposed to lose. Play. Mm. Oh god, don't, 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 Times, but may feel bad, but I didn't cry. Well, yeah, this I'm one kind of hit I'm close home to me, and also it was kind of a. <sighs> it's also because it's like, I don't know. Like for me personally, really sad stuff doesn't make me sad. It's just kind of like, yeah, that happened, and then I kind of just cope and deal with it. It's when it's bittersweet that's when it gets <coughs> me. <coughs> And then also music generally makes me really emotional. Like songs that I associate with sad things will get oh me God. going. <laughs> like this one, it's actually it's gonna start make I'm gonna start fucking crying listening to this, actually. Never thought you'd actually hear me cry. <laughs> I guess I don't get emotional very often. This one got me a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Barely see through the tears. <sighs> this one was kind of cheating, because like I said, it was... This one was a lot longer, so the build-up is a lot more. And then, yeah, it's like... There was a lot more of the build-up towards the emotion in this one. I was feeling it throughout, you know, the game and the ending. And then it kind of, like, is, like, all bottled up and comes out at the end like this. And he finally... Trying to forgive himself. Yeah, like, this whole ending, I'm, like, basically in tears, literally. And then, where is it? I think I cry again, like, when it gets the, po the post-credit. As you can see, I'm literally, like, still, like, crying right now. Oh, God, how embarrassing. But, yeah, it was, like, somewhere around here. I think I ball start bawling again. Gives hug through the screen. Well, thankfully, I'm feeling a lot better. Because, yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with crying. There's nothing wrong. It's not... This isn't, like, just me sad crying. It's sad, but it's, like... Like I said, it needs to be bittersweet. There needs to be hope. That's what gets me, because it's like, it's not just sad. You smile. And then, Things yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, like, when I hear the ending song go more, I, I legit will start tearing up, but oh. it's fucking, oh. 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 oh, it fucking buffers. Yeah, I literally, like, start crying when I see this screen. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I 
I don't know why I'm fucking buffering like this. Stop being trash, YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, you get to hear me ugly cry, because I didn't do it during this one. Could the photo album... I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, that was yeah. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad crying. Oh God. Anyways, yeah. For the people who came to see me cry, you got to hear me cry. So you're welcome. But yeah, no. Before your eyes was a really that was really enjoyable. The mecha the webcam blinking mechanic was really unique. I really enjoyed that. And then yeah, I did not. Definitely did not see the direction the story was going. Like I, I knew it was sad. I knew it was gonna be emotional, but like, I didn't expect the story to take that direction you know well it'd be kind of hard to you'd have i don't know there's no way you could have known no that was that shit was like it's like it makes sense when you look back with all the details but if you guess that without hindsight you'd be a fucking liar there's no way there's no way but yeah i really enjoyed before your eyes i glad i got to play it i hope you guys enjoyed it as well want to try hearing that even more yeah, no, like it's, it was really emotional. It was really emotional. And yeah, when I, if I listen to the ending song of Amori, I will start to cry, depending on my mood. Whether it's like, tear up, start to sniffle, or like, I don't know. I probably won't full-on sob. I've desensitized myself to it a bit, but it'll definitely get me going. Give me some shivers. Make me feel emotion in my cold, dead heart. But yeah. That's going to be it for tonight, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate you all, as always. Hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. Because, yeah, it was rather touching. Definitely enjoyed it a lot. But I guess it makes sense. It was done by the people who did uh, The Walking Dead, or at least handled the last season. So, Didn't see the whole fake story coming, but looking back, it makes perfect sense. It's also relatable. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you have all the details, it makes you can really put it together. That's, that's what a good twist is, you know? You can't just make a twist. A twist you should be able to see coming if you know what. If you, it's like, you know, you rewatch something, you see, oh, that's where it hinted that and that and that. But, like, it can't just be something that, like, comes out of nowhere and is like, oh, that, that makes no sense, you know? Those twists suck. But that one was really well done. Because, yeah, it made a lot of sense, especially with, like, like I said, a lot of the stuff is foreshadowed, like, especially, like, the idea of, um, you know, making sure you live up to things and stuff like that. I didn't need to rewatch and go through to point out specific parts, but obviously, like, it was really well done. I'd like another, it's kind of hard to say I'd like another sequel, because, like, it's like, how do you capture lightning in a bottle like that again? Especially since, obviously, his story is closed, but... The webcam technology, the webcam like mechanic was really interesting in the blinking. I think that was really well done. Like I said, if you were, I kind of have eyes of steel, so I could hold through most of it. But like, I could definitely see how it could get to you as like, you're, you know, it's like you're holding on to a memory, not able to quite grasp it because you need to blink. But yeah, definitely a very well done game. I really enjoyed it. As for what I'm gonna play next, I have no fucking clue. I think. Actually, no, I have an idea. I think I'm probably going to start uh, the Spider-Man game, the one that came out on PlayStation and came out on PC like a while back. I just haven't gone around to it because it's so long, but I think I'll start playing that one. Maybe do another one before that tomorrow, and I'll probably break up a few between the Spider-Man because I know that's a long game. But... Yeah, that's probably our next long game, and then we'll probably do a few other ones in between. We'll just have to see. <clears throat> but I don't know. Like how the wolf specifically tells you your line because he knows what you said isn't true. Yeah, no. And you know what's kind of funny is it's like the wolf was like he knew you were lying because of the birds, but then when he like got to the fucking, he like gets to the actual story. He's like, damn, bro, I didn't want to fucking know that, bro. This is fucked up. My man was like, I didn't need to see this. It's like we're getting to the end, we're, like, about to die. He's like, bro, like, leave, leave. I don't want to watch anymore. That's how I felt, man. Fucking, my man was like, you're a liar. You fucking rat. And then it's like, but, you know, if you tell the truth, you can get in. And then he, like, gets the truth, and he's like, fuck, man, I didn't want to know. <laughs> he's like, fuck, this sucks. Wolfman, hella relatable. 
Especially the howling at birds part. That's definitely me. My chat says five people watching. That says three watching. Well, the live chat, I don't know. Well, if it says five and there's three, it might be that I'm counting as one in the chat and then the bot counts as another one, but we're not as viewers. Or just YouTube being fucky. Because, yeah. It's hard because he actually wanted you to make it. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he wanted you to make it. But I just think it's kind of funny how, like, he knew you were lying, but he didn't know what you were lying about. And then he, when he got to the part where, like, wait, fuck, this is a kid who just died from cancer. He's like, oh, shit, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this fucking sucked, bro. It was, like, the just the 180, you know? But, yeah, again, it was a really, really well done. Really enjoyed it. But, yeah. That is it. Again, thank you all so much. I'm just going to wrap it up here. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed. Same with anyone watching this in the future. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed as well. We're going to be playing Spider-Man next, if not tomorrow, really soon. And I hope everyone has a great rest of your day, evening, afternoon, whatever's for you. Hope it's a good one. Birds are probably telling me you're lying, but yelled at Michelle because you don't want to be traumatizing. Well, no, that's, yeah. They, it basically does say that, right? I mean, it's like... I should probably get this fucking, fucking, uh, what was I saying? That basically is what it was. Cause yeah, it's like, he, that's how he knew you were lying. Cause the birds were going off when we were talking about it. That is how he knew. That's why he's all like, well, these are actually liar birds and you know, all that shit. Find out how to catch a Pokemon in discord. Pretty easy. I'm pretty. You just need to type at and then poke to and then catch and then the Pokemon's name when one spawns, and that's how you get it. Like, just copy. Like, you can see how it is in the chat channel, I'm pretty sure. Just, you know, cop, copy what other people do, basically. But yeah. Again, love you all platonically. Thank you for watching. But yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. Peace out, guys. Catch you later. Bye-bye.